Okay, um, this is a movie uh, that I saw earlier this year, a comedy. Um, this is, you know, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, the third part in the trilogy, The World's End. Okay, and this is basically about a group of lads that, uh, you know, they were friends in high school and they wanted to do a, a Paul Crow, a, a Paul, no, a pub crawl. Excuse, that's that's the right word I'm looking for. Uh, is it the, uh, the I think they call it the uh, the not the the epic uh, pub crawl, the five musketeers, and that two, well, you know, one challenge, one night, five friends, twelve bars. That's what it was, twelve bars. And to do that, of course, uh, Simon Pegg in this movie is more of the he was like the leader back then, but now of course the grown up is year years later, and he's basically a <laughs> You know, an alcoholic, and and Nick Frost is kind of a responsible one, and then you have uh, you also have um, what's the guy from the the guy from uh, what's his name Martin Fro Fro Martin Freeman's in this, and uh, quite the other two guys. But anyway, uh, this is comedy, and this is about them doing the beer crawl years later, and he kind of Nick Simon Pegg's character kind of tricks them into going along with it, and they go along with it, and then of course, if you've seen the trailer, you know what happens basically. <laughs> You know, aliens happen, and it's a funny movie. I give it that, but out of the trilogy, I think this is this. I like Shaun of the Dead the, the best. I think out of the three movies, I like Shaun of the Dead best, and then um, Hot Fuzz, and then this, The World's End. Don't get me wrong, I, this movie is entertaining mainly because Simon Pegg and Nick Frost is that, you know, but I don't think it was as funny as the, uh, the other two. Like I said, I think Shaun of the Dead is just hilarious <laughs> all the way around, but this one's a definitely uh, entertaining and worth checking out and owning and like I said I have the other two movies in the trilogy so I got this one to complete the trilogy and like I said I saw it in the theaters earlier this year and definitely uh, like I said the ending was just just very weird I guess just put it that way to me the, the very end of this movie is very very weird <laughs> okay there we go okay now the next movie is a uh, movie that I saw earlier this year, uh, this is like a comedy action type movie, buddy kind of movie, Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, Two Guns, and this is the Best Buy, the uh, metal pack, collectible metal pack, version, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital high definition version right there, I didn't even know they had this one there until I went there, <laughs> so there it is, the, you know, they call it metal pack, because I guess it doesn't really, you know, metal pack still, but you know, it's all the same to me, but... <laughs> But I guess they call this a metal pack because it's slightly different, slightly different than the. Uh, so let me open this up. Anyway, this movie was very entertaining. Basically, it's a story about uh, these guys teaming up, Mark Wahlberg and Dennis and Denzel Washington. There, but also following the movie, they kind of team up <laughs> to take on the bad guys, and the bad guys are coming at them from two different ways. Without spoiling it, but it's a good movie, actually. Denzel Washington and Mark Warburg have good chemistry together. It's, it's, it's good action in it and nice comedy as well. And they, like I said, they make a good team, Denzel Washington and Mark Warburg. Also in this is uh, Paula Patton, who I absolutely love. Okay, and you got um, a lot of stars. Uh, what's that guy's name? The guy from uh, Big Love. Uh, Bill Paxton's in this. He's good too in, hit in this. And you have uh, the guy from Miami Vice, Edward James almost. He's in this as well. And Cyclops is in this, James Morrison as well. <laughs> like I said, you got a lot of a lot of stars in this movie. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me, uh, peel this off. Like I said, there's a lot of twists and turns. Uh, that comes off. A lot of twists and turns, but ultimately, it's a buddy movie. About these two guys teaming up to take on the bad guys. And it's really, really quite good, actually. Like I said, it was definitely entertaining. Okay, and this I think it has some inside artwork. This is just... You know, digital copy code and the uh, some movies are on. Okay, and let's take out. Uh, okay, that's the Blu-ray. And the DVD. And there's your inside artwork, which looks pretty cool with the money flying everywhere. That scene towards the end of the movie. See the money flying everywhere? You can see that. Okay, and there's a, there it is <laughs> the back or the front and the back together. I like this. I like this. I like this movie. The movie is very entertaining. <laughs> like I said, Denzel and uh, Mark Wahlberg have good buddy cop chemistry. Okay, which is important in these type of movies. 
okay, and Paula Patton looks gorgeous as ever. Okay, like I said, I'm biased. I absolutely lust for Paula Patton. Okay, I admit it. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Okay, now the next thing I got, I'll see this other one for last is a. Uh, this was on sale for $19.99. This is the Planet of the Apes Collector's Edition. Uh, this is all five movies. Okay, there's Shada. I know you've seen, probably seen this tons of times. There's the back with all the apes there. <laughs> okay, it has all five movies in the collection. Uh, you have, of course, you know, the Planet of the Apes, Charleston Heston, the original, and then you've got the Beef of the Planet of the Apes, the one with James Francisco. Then you got Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Okay, that's the one I think where, um, yeah, where um, Cornelius and, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, where they, uh, where they go to the, where they come to Earth, the, you know, the two scientists say just comes to Earth. Well, actually, it's three of them actually come to Earth, and you know, people discover that they can talk, and, and then you know what happens after that. And then you got Conquest of the Planets, which show you how the apes took over, you know, which is a very interesting movie. That movie is very interesting and disturbing. Then you got Battle for the Planet of the Apes, where the apes team up with some humans to fight, I guess, these uh, mutated humans and stuff for control of the of the planet. And it's just a really, really good, fun movie. And I'm glad I have all five of them now on Blu-ray. Okay, and of course I have the uh, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And I think I don't even have I think I don't have the uh, the one with Mark Wahlberg, that one, which was a straight remake. Uh, but um, anyway, this the sequel to the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I think it's coming out next year. I think I believe. And I don't think uh, James Franco is just James Franco's in it, but the, uh, which I think he he should have been, but. That's just here and there, but I'm glad I have all five movies now in the collection. Planet of the Apes, I was a big fan of the Apes. I grew up watching these movies and love, absolutely loved them. Riding with Dow, just, <laughs> uh, just, Jesus. And I remember which part, Claude Aikens, I think it was that gorilla ape just scared the crap out of me when I was a little kid. But anyway, uh, just a great movie. And Charleston Hands, so that's the, who could ever forget that classic line? Get your goddamn hands off me, you dirty ape. I think was that. Or get your hands off me, you. Damn dirty eight, right? I think that's I think that was a lie. And then at the end, they blew it up, you bastards. You yeah, know, that seems great. <laughs> at the end, Charlton Heston going, that's real like and this is a spoiler for those who haven't seen it. That he's really on Earth. <laughs> okay, he thought he was he thought he was on a different planet, but he actually you know, went forward in time and actually wound up back on Earth. <laughs> okay, so in the future for each rule. <laughs> Okay, now, the last but not least thing that I got was a TV series. Actually, this show, I believe, The Portrait Family and Bewitched came out on DVD, like the whole complete seasons. And so, you know, I saw them there. And But this one, uh, and I had, I think I had a $10 credit for Best Buy, for the awards certificate things. So I used that, 10 bucks on this. And this, because this was normally $32.99, it's I Dream of Genie. This is all five seasons. There you go. Look at gorgeous, beyond gorgeous Bobby Eaton there. Okay, and this is this, this, there's the back. There's a TV show about, you know, Major Anthony Nelson who finds Genie in a bottle. And it was 139 episodes. Okay. It's five seasons, 139 episodes, 20 discs on this. You know, Larry Hammond's Captain Anthony Nelson finds, you know, Genie in a bottle, of course, and he always try, trying to tell her not to use her powers, which is, I never understood that premise of this. He always trying to tell her not to use her powers and stuff, and then of course he falls in love with her, of course, and then she has her crazy relatives, you know, the evil genie, her sister with the dark hair, who played with William Barbara Eden, and played. Then you also had uh, Major Anthony Bellows, who used to always get tricked into, you know, seeing one thing, and then when he come, when he brings the general back, you know, Major Nelson explains it away, and Anthony Bellows looks like an idiot, <laughs> which always cracked me up because it looked like Anthony Bellows always just. Like he was losing it because Major Nelson would always somehow weasel out of it. <laughs> this elaborate thing that Genie would get him into, and then, then Roger Healy was his buddy, and again, of course, the, the absolutely gorgeous Barine, which who looked beyond gorgeous, beyond gorgeous, and they had a lot of famous guest stars on the show too. I remember Sammy Davis Jr. was on one. I remember that he was on one of the episodes where he, um, I think, he was playing himself. I think, or a, a variation of his. His real life persona, and then Genie created a twin because Major Nelson wanted somebody to entertain at, at a party, a dinner party. And I thought that was a, one of the great <laughs> episodes and stuff. And just, okay, so this is 20 discs. 
the nice is just to watch this, you know, just to revisit and remember the ones that I, that, like I said, I grew up watching this. I've probably seen most of the episodes on this. And I remember when Nelson, Major Nelson was going to marry Jeannie and she got stuck in a safe her, with her bottle. And I never think, I, I don't think I ever see how he, remember how he got her out of the, that. So I'm anxious to watch that there. I remember that one where he's, he was going to, I think he proposed to her finally and then she was going to, he was going to marry her, but she got locked in the safe with her bottle. Uh, and then he had to try to rescue her because I think the safe was going to get crushed. And so and I never saw how it ended, how he got her, got her out of that, basically. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's do this one more. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then you have the breakdown of the different seasons and stuff right there. Again, this is on sale for $32.99. Like I said, I had a $10 thing, so I only paid 22 bucks. And they also have Columbo there, like the whole complete Columbo collection. I think every Columbo thing, and that was on sale for like 84 Now, if they have that, Columbo, because my mother was a big fan of Columbo, and if they ever get that, on, you know, at least that, you know, paid for but it was a bit much, but I love Columbo, that they put it in. If they ever release that, or maybe Black Friday to cut down the price on that, maybe if they cut, cut it down to like 30 something bucks, maybe I'll, I'll definitely buy it because I absolutely loved Columbo. But like I said, my mother was into it, and then I slowly but surely got into it too. And they had a ton of guest stars on that that were famous. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see what they, see what they did. They stacked the disc in there, which, I, uh, which is not a great thing. Yeah, see, they stack the discs in there one after the other. So you just one season, you know, season one, disc one, episodes one to eight. Disc one, disc two, episodes nine to 16. So they're all in there. Probably, I'm going to count them later, but I like the way, you know, I guess they, they won't fall out, I guess. Only like this, so. But I like the way they stack them up like that. But anyway, I'm glad to have I Dream of Genie finally on, on DVD, the whole complete season and I do want to get the Partridge family too I think I want to get that one too so I guess maybe Black Friday that will reduce the price of it and I'll get that too but I think that was on sale for like 30 something bucks too so and I like the Partridge family too grew up on that too so anyway let me know what you think of my pickups feel free to leave comments down below and this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care oh yeah wait oh wait one, one more thing somebody asked me to do something and I'm gonna do this before this video hopefully runs out hold on uh, hold on. Let's see. Hold on. I want to get this guy's name right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me uh, give you his name. This was a fellow YouTuber. Uh, was it? Oh, yeah. Resurrect Forever. He asked me to show the Blu-ray menu. Okay, so I'll end this video with that, with the Blu-ray menu for a Man of Steel. Okay, so wait one minute.